All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So global players are about to be absolutely bombarded with legendary summon banners over the next couple of weeks, starting with the LR baby banner, which is currently available in the game right now. And in today's video, I wanna quickly talk about whether or not any of these banners are worth your stones, whether you know the average Dokkan player should be summoning on that LR baby one or any of the upcoming ones. All right, now starting with the actual schedule for these banners, the LR Baby one is from yesterday, the 12th until November 16th, and then part 2, or the second banner, is coming out on the 16th to the 20th, third banner is the 20th to the 24th, fourth banner 24th to 28th, and finally we have the final banner which is the 28th to the 2nd. Now I don't think this is something that's ever happened on global before i could be wrong my memory is not the greatest but it has happened on jp so while the news doesn't say what the featured lrs are going to be after the lr baby we can just go off the jp releases and it's most likely going to be exactly the same so let's pop over to dbz space right here and uh, as you can see this is the lr baby banner on jp and the banner that came out after was for lr goku and frieza and after that it was the lr gt trio uh, LR Cell, the Fizz one of course, and finally LR Trunks and Mai. So most likely, these are also going to be the exact same banners we get for Global, starting with LR Baby, and then Goku and Frieza, LR GT Trio, Fizz Cell, and Trunks and Mai. Now, the question we asked in the beginning of this video is whether or not you should be summoning, and the short answer is hell no, alright? Do not do it, it's not worth your stones. Um, of course, I'm talking to the average Dokkan player. If you're a whale, doesn't really matter. You don't need my advice. But the average Dokkan player who either is free to play or spends a little bit of money on this game and still needs to save their stones, it's not worth it, guys. It's just straight up not worth it. But if you guys want a little bit more uh, detail or a little bit more information about why I say that, let's delve a little bit deeper. Okay, so first things first, legendary banners are never great value for your stones. Even when it's a brand new LR, it's still not something I like to recommend to people a lot because the way these banners work is that outside of the featured LR, everything else in the featured pool is available on every other banner. They're general SSR pool units. None of them are Dokkan Fest exclusives or really anything else that would be considered top tier, you know? Now, as you can see from the LR Baby banner, there's LR Baby, and even though the Int Oceana Shenron is quite good, and some of these other guys are good with EZAs, uh, the overall value on this banner is very low compared to your average Dokkan Festival banner, especially when it's a dual Dokkan Festival or special banners like Step Ups, for example. And I'm pretty sure that the global banner actually is exactly the same, but let me just check to be 100% sure. So... We're loading. Okay, so here is the baby banner. Oh, where is it? Oh, right there. And yeah, just based off the banner image, um, it should be identical to the banner that JP had. So there you go. Um, just really low value. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that LR Baby is bad because he's not. He's actually a very good unit. He's carried me through quite a few events, he's been the MVP of Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, so on and so forth. So it's definitely a unit that you want to have, but given the fact that he's an older LR, the fact that he's on a Legendary Summon banner, the fact that the featured units around him are just not that impressive, um, it's just, it's not worth it guys, trust me, it's really not worth it. And then we can move on to some of the other ones, similar situation. Now, Goku and Frieza, is still a pretty insane unit, at least offensively. They're right up there with the hardest hitting units in the game. In fact, they still might be the hardest hitting unit in the game. I'm not 100% sure about that, don't hold me to it, but the last time I checked a list of the hardest hitting LRs, I think they were still number one. But anyways, outside of their offense, their defense is not that crazy. And uh, once again, they're an older LR, the banner is, okay right like there's some good units here but once again they're all general ssr pool units you can pull them on any banner and your stones are just much better spent on uh, banners that are most likely coming in december which we'll get to in a second now moving on from there we have the lrgt trio which was actually very underrated by me personally i know a lot of people really like them 
but uh, I never had them until recently, and now that I've had a chance to use them and see just how hard they could hit and how impressive they are, good LR for sure, but still, in my opinion, not worth summoning for right now. On a Legendary Summon banner, uh, there's the featured pool if you guys were curious, nothing too crazy, really. And then we have the Fizz LR Cell banner, I mean, out of all the banners, all the Legendary Summon banners that we're about to get, uh, this one might be the biggest skip. I mean, they're all big skips to me, but uh, this one might be the biggest skip, mainly because I think Cell out of these 5 LRs might be the worst. Um, not saying he's bad, but just out of the 5 that we have here. Uh, I'll have to think about that for a bit. But regardless of the rankings, still a skip nonetheless. And uh, finally, we have Trunks and Mai. And again, you know, some, some decent units, some pretty good units uh, featured outside of Trunks and Mai. But it's not worth it, guys. Just, just don't do it. Now, if you absolutely had to summon on one of these banners, because we're not getting anything new until December, right? So some people I know, I mean, I'm one of them, have summoning addictions. Like we have a problem or we just need to spend stones and try to get something. Um, I think the Legendary Summon Banner that's probably the most worth it here has to be Goku and Frieza because out of these five I do think that they are still the best LR, um, still a really insane unit. And they also have one of the better featured pools out of these uh, five banners. Uh, we got Fit Boo here with his insane awakening. These girls are great. Um, Rebrand's very good too. And also you guys know what's up with uh, Bergamo. So yeah, if you had to summon on something, I guess this would be the one to go for, but once again, none of them, in my opinion, are worth it. I wouldn't recommend anybody to summon on any of these five banners. Um, you gotta think about the future, right? Like right now, there's nothing on global, so you might be like, oh, there's nothing else to spend my stones on, so it might as well. But no, December should be a really big month for us, okay? December should bring the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaku Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, or the LR Blue Boys, as people like to call them as well as LR Jiren, who is just ridiculously, ridiculously powerful. He is easily one of the best LRs in the game. Maybe the best LR to some people. I'm not really sure right now, but he is top three easily. So um, if you guys want those units, then they're probably coming in less than a month or right around a month. So saving at this very moment is definitely the move. Now, with that said, we did get something pretty cool in the Baba Shop with the release of this uh, LR Baby Banner. And that would be... Actually, I think we got a few new LRs. Uh, but the main one that I care about is this dude. Nope. Is this dude right here. LR Ultra Instinct Goku. I think LR Nappa is also new. I'm pretty sure we had this guy before. So these two, Nappa and uh, Goku, I think are brand new in the Baba Shop with coins. And if you really want a new toy to play with right now, then just go ahead and pick up LRUI Goku. I mean, if he's new, of course, don't go for dupes. I mean, I'm going to go for a dupe because I just love him that much and he's worth it. So that's going to be dupe number two for me. But for anybody that doesn't have UI Goku, you just want something new to tide you over until the next new unit drops in December then uh, go for this guy, you'll be good to go. And uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. Um, I really wanted to buy him, but I was waiting until I filmed this so that you guys can uh, share this moment with me. So here we go, 79% LRUI Goku on the way now. It's no Toon Rami with his 100% UI Goku. It's just ridiculous. I don't know how he did it, but I will take 79% with... Uh, you know, all his potential skills. And we'll quickly fill these in. And that'll be that, guys. So, yeah, 79% LRUI Goku. But the point of the video, to reiterate, is don't summon on these legendary summon banners, okay? They're traps. Don't fall into Bandai's web. They just want to take as many of your stones as possible before they drop the uh, highly anticipated Blue Boys and Jiren in December. Probably. I mean, we might get some other stuff. Uh, instead, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something like that, or uh, the Transforming Angel Frieza. But either way, whatever comes in December, it's way better than these Legendary Summon banners. So keep that in mind if you're at all tempted to summon on uh, these five Legendary Summon banners. Okay, and that's it guys. That is my suggestion. That is my warning to 
all my fellow global players, the choice is ultimately up to you, but uh, don't do it. Just don't. Okay, so that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.